Hello and welcome to April 2023's edition of my cyber awareness training. In today's video, we're going to talk about the dangers of using public Wi-Fi. We're going to take a look at those classified documents that got leaked in the USA and how they affect your business. And I'm going to give you my top tip for creating passwords. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards and my business is called Integral IT. We help businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365 and their cybersecurity. Firstly, let's talk about the dangers of using public Wi-Fi. Now, all good IT people will always advise you to be wary of public Wi-Fi. But before we talk about that, let's just take a little step back and let's ask the question, what is public Wi-Fi? Well, as the name suggests, it's Wi-Fi internet access in a public place. So think about your favorite coffee shop, a hotel or an airport. All these places usually provide Wi-Fi access and anyone can join them. So it's public Wi-Fi. So what is the big problem with public Wi-Fi? Well, a common tactic that cyber criminals use is they will actually sit in these public places and they will create their own Wi-Fi network pretending to be that place. Imagine if you walk into Starbucks, you get a cup of coffee and you open your laptop. You search for the Wi-Fi network and you see one called Starbucks. You'll join that network without a second thought. But what happens if that Wi-Fi network you've just connected to doesn't belong to Starbucks at all, but you've just connected to the bogus network created by the cyber criminal. And now they can see everything. They can see all the websites that you're browsing to, and they can make a note of all the usernames and passwords you're entering to your computer. It's not good. So what can you do to stay safe? Well, firstly, if you do need to use public Wi-Fi, make sure you verify with the place that you're using that it's the right network. And to do this, simply ask a member of staff, is this the right network? Is this the right password? Secondly, try to avoid entering usernames and passwords into your laptop or your mobile phone when you're connected to public Wi-Fi. And finally, the best tip of all, try not to use public Wi-Fi. If I'm going for a coffee in a coffee shop with my laptop, I will connect to my mobile phone. I will create my smartphone as a personal hotspot. It's much more secure. Now, last week saw a junior member of a cybersecurity team over in the United States of America leak classified documents online. This has caused a national security risk for the USA. Now, you might be watching this video thinking, What's that gonna do with me or my business? But this serves as a timely reminder. It's not only the bad guys on the outside of your organization who are trying to hack into your IT systems. Sometimes you've got to be wary of the people inside of your business as well. Now we all like to think that everybody that we employ is completely trustworthy, but that's not always the case. And to be honest, it's best not to leave it to chance. You've got to use technology to improve the security of your business. How can you do that? Well, firstly, make sure everybody in your organization only has the access they need to be able to do their jobs. I've seen scary things where junior members of the team have access to complete file structures. They just don't need it and they're seeing information that they shouldn't see. Secondly, if your business is using Microsoft 365, you should embrace technologies like data loss prevention and sensitivity labels to provide extra protection to your company data. And finally, train your team. Everybody in your business should have regular cyber awareness training. You don't want someone leaking documents by accident just because they didn't have the right computer system training. So make sure you train your team often. Now, before I move on to my third and final tip, I just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Today's video has been kindly sponsored by my friends over at Keeper Security. Now, Keeper Security is a top-rated password manager solution, and it's been designed to help your business stay clear of cyber threats. Now, Keeper Security is used by millions of people worldwide, and it's built using zero-trust security, so it protects every user on every device. 
So why don't you hop over to keepersecurity.com and sign up for a free business trial. Thanks again, Keeper, for sponsoring today's video. Now talking about Keeper Security leads me directly into my third tip today, and that is talking about passwords. I know passwords can seem like a pretty boring subject, but passwords are still a key element in how we access our systems online, and therefore, there's still a big risk. I see so many businesses still getting this wrong. Now when it comes to passwords, the advice is pretty simple. Firstly, make sure your passwords are complex, they're strong, they're long, they're not easy to remember. And secondly, make sure you use unique passwords on every application that you use. Never ever reuse the same password on different applications. Now the advice I give my customers when it comes to creating passwords is this. Use a technique called three random words. Now the idea is you pick three random words and you put them together. What you end up with is quite a long password, so it's considered complex. But you also end up with a password that is easy to remember because they're just three random words. For example, you could have a password like Coffee Friday Star Trek. You put all those words together and you've got a 20 character password. Plus, you're not going to forget that, are you? So I hope you've enjoyed this month's edition of my cyber awareness training. I'll see you again next month with some more top tips.